Hello, my beautiful, darling cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Leo-only channel, and then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light. The links for all of those are below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. Um, on this channel, I give away two five-question readings. Um, hashtag reading to enter to win in the comment section below. And I give away three $50 prizes. To enter for the $50 prize, just post a positive app information um, with a green heart in the comment section. If you're interested in checking out my tarot and oracle decks, I've got spiritual tarot and oracle that is buy one, get one free. I've got mystery boxes on sale, 20% off video readings are 20% off. And I am open for phone readings. Um, my cell phone number is below. Just text me. And usually I can get you in within a 24 hour period of time. Okay. All right, my loves, what am I grateful for today? I'm grateful for my cancer babies, my YouTube family, my puppies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. I'm grateful for my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. All right, let's get popping. <clears throat> Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, so we've got religious, we've got twin flames, and we've got distant future. Okay, so Cancer, you do have an extremely spiritual union coming towards you. Um, the way you'll know who this person is, is they are very spiritual, okay? Very spiritual. This person may be religious <laughs> or they may be spiritual, okay? Tell me more about this person coming in for Cancer. But this is the distant future. I just want to make that clear, Cancer. So you might be in a relationship right now that's not going to work out and this is the next person that you're going to meet or if you're single right now, this may be a little bit more towards the end of the year, okay? Yeah, what did I say? Winter time. It's going to be more towards the end of the year. I feel like this person is going to be honest. Um, this is someone that has honor, morals, integrity. This is not someone that will ever lie to you, okay? And this is someone that, they believe in uh, fixing something that is broken. So when this person commits to an individual, or if you know, if this person, if you should ever marry this person, they do believe in overcoming obstacles and sticking with someone through thick and thin. Like this is a ride or die type of energy. Okay, we've got unavailable here, and we've got fantasy. So. Cancer, what I see happening for you here is you're dealing with someone right now that is emotionally unavailable. This is, uh, for some of you, it could be a strictly sexual connection. And for others of you, you're dealing with someone that is just future faking and using you for sex, money, whatever the case may be. Um, so that's why I feel like this spiritual connection is coming in for you towards the end of the year. Okay. Either you're still in the process of, you know, breaking up with this person here, or you've recently broke up with them and you're taking some time to yourself. Tell me about cancer, please. Hold on. Spirit wants me to pull. Spirit, tell me more about this person coming towards cancer. Tell me what cancer needs to know. You are better off as friends and someone is sabotaging the connection, okay? Uh, your newfound confidence intimidates them. So Cancer, I feel like this is the person that you're leaving behind. You're going to start to self-sabotage in this connection because you're like, you know what, listen, we're, we could be friends we could be friends, but I feel like I deserve better. And the reason why, Cancer, you have this confidence of, I want to let this go and move on is because you're being divinely led towards your divine counterpart. You're being divinely led. Something is going to come over you where you're like, you know what? This is going nowhere. We could be friends, but I got to go. And I feel like this person that you're leaving behind doesn't like that. They don't like that you're so confident and okay with leaving them behind. 
because they fear losing your love and affection. So Cancer, this is unrequited. This is not someone that provides you with love, affection, stability, and safety, but they love the way you love them. But you're at a point of no return, Cancer. The end is near here, okay? You're fed up with this person. And all of a sudden, the person that you're leaving is going to be eager to compromise with you. They're going to be easier to compromise with you. Yeah, so Cancer, you're going to, the reason why you're meeting your true divine soulmate towards the end of the year is because you're still, you're, you're, the roles are switching here. It's going to go from you chasing this person for commitment to you trying to sabotage. And you ever seen that movie, 10 ways to lose a man? <laughs> like you're trying to do everything you can to get this person away from you. Okay. You're tired of the games and your partner has new, has new goals. So it's like an energy of, you know, I know what I want in a man. I know what I want in a woman and being with you is not where it's at. Okay. And all of a sudden now this person is saying that they want to do better. Like it's getting hard to shake off this person that you want to leave behind. Yep. You see, it's their turn to chase after you. It's their turn to chase after you, but cancer there, the, the chasing aspect of this is futile because I think that you're done here. You know, when a cancer loves, they love when they have hope, they have hope. But once a cancer is done, there's really no looking back. Tell me about cancer. Page of wands and the two of pentacles. So cancer, I feel like you're going to like tell this person, you know, I, I just don't know if I want this anymore. I, there's an energy of like, you know, do you want to hang out tonight? No, not really. You know, they hit you up with that. Uh, what are you doing at 1130 at night? Oh, I'm busy. I got to wake up early. The end is near here, cancer. And they don't really understand what is going on with you. They don't understand why all of a sudden you're so non-responsive. You know, you're so non-responsive. Pisces energy. The Knight of Cups and the Hierophant. This is someone that's now going to start promising you marriage. They're going to start promising you commitment, but it's faking. It's just they want your love back. Okay. They want your love back. I feel like with the Five of Cups and the Hermit here, Cancer, you're really starting to analyze your life right now and doing that soul searching, and you don't like what you see. You don't like what you see. Okay. The five of cups is a representation of looking at everything that's wrong and not looking at the love anymore. There may have been a point of time where you were so in love with this person that, you know, you were willing to play dumb, deaf, and blind. And now it's like you're analyzing every little thing this person does. You can't stand the way they blink. You can't stand them. You know, I hate the way you breathe. You know, everything about this person is starting to annoy you. And that is because because here, Cancer, the divine has this beautiful, unbelievable person that they're ready to give you. Uh, your manifestations here are coming to fruition, okay? The problem is spirit needs you to leave. You stop wasting your time with whoever you're dealing with here so that you and this person can reunite. You see what I'm saying? King to the queen of pentacles here, Cancer, a true pair a true pair, but you have to make the final judgment call to separate yourself from this situation that's going absolutely nowhere. Okay. Because you're sitting here in Empress energy and you're dealing with, you know, an F boy, an F girl, someone here that's for the streets, but they don't want to release you. They don't want to release you. And why would they? You know what I'm saying? Why would they want to release uh, an Empress energy? Okay. Your energy is amazing. Maybe you help this person with money. You're always there to take care of them. You're always there to help them with stuff. You know, it's like you got that mommy vibe here. I feel like this person is going to be shocked when you start to say no. When, when you stop answering them and telling them, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see your text. I was busy or, oh, I fell asleep early or no, I can't meet up tonight because I have to, you know, work in the morning, Aries Scorpio energy here. Um, they, they can't believe it because it's going to go from you chasing them to vice versa. Yeah. Death card. Your, your energy here is changing. 
you're falling out of love, Cancer, strong Scorpio energy. And why? Because with the four of wands and the high priestess, you're following divine intervention. You're following the guidance of your higher self, and it's leading you <clears throat> towards a twin flame union. You're not sure why all of a sudden with the six of swords energy, you're so willing to pull away from this. You're really not even sure what it is specifically. It's just like you wake up one day and your energy towards this person has changed. Tell me about the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Now you've got this person promising you the sun, the moon, the stars. Tell me about the Hierophant and the Four of Cups and you don't want it. You don't want it. So because you're pulling away your energy, Cancer, the person that you were chasing is now willing to commit and become serious and you could care less. You could care less. This person is talking to you and you're dozing off. This person is sending you messages and you don't even lift a finger to pick up the phone. Whereas before you used to dump and, and, you know, answer back right away or whatever opportunity you had to, like this person may have been the type of person that didn't speak to you all day. And then at 1230 at night, what are you doing? You know, can I come over? Um, you're not dealing with that anymore. Pisces energy. Why this is happening is because with the star card and the three of cups and the ace of wands cancer, um, the star card talks about following divine intervention, following divine guidance. You want to think of like the North star in the Bible. It talks about healing your life, moving in the right direction, following the, the right path. And spirit wants you to connect with this new person. Okay. Um, it's like all of a sudden you don't even understand why, but all of a sudden you just want to go, you just want to get away from this person and they are going to chase you relentlessly. Okay. They are look, you're, you've turned your back. You really don't care anymore. And now all of a sudden they're chasing you with a fire under their ass. Now that you just don't care. Okay. This is the tables turning on this person. This is, you know, now the shoe is on the other foot. Now they can chase you and you're not emotionally available. And this is also your prayers, manifestations. Everything is moving in your favor, Cancer. This person, I'm telling you right now, it's going to take a minute. It's going to take a minute to get rid of them because your person is now <clears throat> jealous, wondering if there's someone else in your life. Your person is now, uh, feels like they have to compete for your time, your energy. They're going to put in a tremendous amount of work. What they don't know is that you're over it. You've, you're over it. Okay. They can work themselves to the bone, do everything that you wanted them to do before. And they just don't understand why they can't seem to get through to you. Okay. This is someone very attractive, very sexy. This is someone that, you know, they were, they started this whole process with a lot of confidence that they could get back into your good graces, but you're just like, uh, you know, okay, can you go now? I'm tired. I have to be up early in the morning. Um, I really just don't want to be, you know, with you right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, thank you for cleaning my whole house or thank you for cleaning my car. You can go, you know? Um, yeah, this is someone that's, that's really trying to, you know, talk to you, tell you how sorry they are for mistreating you, you know, with the seven of swords, though, this person is not being honest. This person just wants to get your love back. And then once they have power in the connection where you, they have your love again, everything's going to change. This person will be good for a short period of time. And then, you know, it, as soon as they see that you're back in love with them again, or that they have power in the relationship then the fuckery starts again. Okay. Yeah. Cancer. I, I feel like this person isn't going to succeed in getting through to you regardless. I'm not even worried about it. Spirit. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Yeah. You're, you're coming into your divine feminine energy here, cancer. And I feel like, you know, that this person's a liar. This person cheats on you constantly. This person's not serious about you or this connection in the near future. You're going to just be tired giving up on this. I feel like you're learning a karmic lesson here. I feel like this is somebody that you once were trauma bonded to. You gave a lot to this person. You clung to this person's energy. Um, pretty much 
in an energy, like being very thirsty in an energetic way. Like you craved this person's love, affection, attention. You wanted it so badly. You jumped through hoops for it. And now it's like, very easy for you to break apart from this. Very easy. There's no pain. There's no suffering. There's no woulda, shoulda, couldas. You just wake up one morning and you just don't care anymore. You just don't care anymore. Yeah. The nine of swords here and the ace of pentacles. Cancer, you have spent a lot of time suffering with this person, wanting commitment, wanting this person to love you, you know, and all they did was seek out third party energies. Okay. All this person did was push you away, push you away and you would invest more and more and more, but that's over now. That's over now. We've got an empress and an emperor here with the six of wands cancer. So you're making the right decision. If if you're saying, Gina, I really just want to go, you're making the right decision because you're being divinely guided towards your twin. Look at this five of pentacles and the ace of cups. Never, never has there been a time in this connection cancer where you were without this person and you weren't suffering because you were trauma bonded, right? You're going to find that you can go from to not speaking to this person at all. And you're happy. You're, you're happy. You're motivated. You're getting up, doing all the, the things. And I'm telling you right now, this person is, they, they feel like you may be entertaining someone else. This karmic is going to lose their mind. They are going to lose their mind. This person is going to start wanting to see your phone, wanting you to unlock things. This person may start following you to see if you're seeing someone else. It's such a quick shift in your energy that they don't know what to make of it. But there's a reason for it, Cancer. Have faith in your feelings. Trust in yourself. There's a reason why your feelings for this person have just, in a snap of a finger, shut off. And that's because the divine is aligning you with your counterpart. They are aligning you with your twin flame. They are aligning you with your forever person. Okay. And, um, yeah, everything happens for a reason, cancer. And this karmic is, uh, it's their turn to suffer now. You know, this person was in love with the way you loved them. And now they're craving your love, missing your love. They would do anything to get this love back. And the fact that they feel like you're going to give this love to someone else. It's making them literally crazy. Okay. It's literally driving them insane. Oh, well, who would they say? Who laughs good laughs last, right? All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I love you all so much and I will see you soon. Take care, my darlings.